Hey folks, it's Karen Trepti from KT Finances. Happy Friday afternoon. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So good to see you all here again. Whether you're joining me live or joining me on the replay, I'm always delighted. Love chatting with you. Um, love to answer any questions that you have. So let's dive right in. I don't think it's going to be that long today, um, but I do want to give you some things I've been thinking about, give you some value to manage both around time management and also financial freedom, which they're both so similar in terms of attacking them. If we want to use that strong of a word, which yes, let's go after our freedom in a strong way. So as an entrepreneur, what happens, right? I totally understand. Like, it's so easy. It's so easy to just always be busy. We're busy with our clients. We're busy with the back office work. Um, we're busy <laughs> recruiting for new clients on social media. We have all these different platforms, right? So it can feel really overwhelming. It can feel like, oh my gosh, there's so many things to do, so many hats to wear. Did I realize I was going to be marketing? Oh, I just set out to, you know, help people with their finances and time management. Like, what's all this other stuff, right? <laughs> but there's a lot of other stuff in running an online business. So thanks so much for joining me. Um, let me know if, uh, if you've got any questions. So that's on the time management side, right? So now let's talk about finance as an entrepreneur. Because what I'm finding is I'm finding so many entrepreneurs so heart driven, like not really giving too much back to themselves. And have I been guilty of that? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Because it's easy to just kind of get wound up, right? It's easy just to be on this go, go, go thing with time management and just think I've got to do this and that and the next thing. And with our finances, it's really easy to get caught in the trap of, oh, I don't know everything, so I better take the next course. Um, you know, I better f figure out how to do this. And what happens with that? When you do that, and I'm not saying all courses are bad or, you know, any of the help that you're investing in. It can be fabulous. It can be life-changing. I mean, I depend on, you know, the things that I've learned from other people in this field have been tremendously helpful for me. But... The point is really to take control of it. I know when I first started my business, I spent so much money. And I don't really think in hindsight that all of that was necessary. But then how do we learn? So that's what I'm here for. I'm here for you to help you get control over your time and your calendar. Get control over your finances, figure out, uh oh, I might sneeze, <laughs> um, over your long-term goals, that kind of thing. And instead of always investing more money in our business and then learning more and more social media platforms or Canva or PicMonkey or, you know, any of those things, I really want you to pay you first. In fact, I would love it for you if you could learn how to calendar out your time first. See the common theme? Like, take care of you. Know what you need to do in your day. I've also had entrepreneurs come to me so frustrated. They're like, I'm still working a full-time job, and I don't know how on earth that I'm going to manage to do this side hustle. Well, let me tell you, you're in charge, you're in control, 
you're in control both of your time and you're also in control of your money, of your finances. And as a CEO, right, it's really important for us to view both those critical things so important that we take control of those two elements of our life. <clears throat> and honestly, with everything going on, the only way that you're ever going to accomplish that is by creating some boundaries, you know, saying, okay, this is my family time. I became an entrepreneur because I want to have more time with my children. So therefore, where are they on your calendar, right? I became an entrepreneur because I want to make sure that I'm not just stuck at a desk for nine hours a day and I'm exercising, right? So where is that on your calendar? Block it off. The same thing goes with finance. If you have a dream, which I'm sure you do, if you're a fellow entrepreneur, you need to figure out what you want to use your money for. And I don't mean in your business. I mean for you like long-term savings, like retirement. And yes, people tell me all the time, Karen, I never want to retire. Okay, well, you can see I'm not 20 years old anymore. Now, I can promise you by the time you get to be my age and maybe 20 years older than I am right now, you're going to want to slow down. So you've got to plan. I mean, if you work in a corporation, you have 401ks, you have all these things that are set up for you. Pensions are kind of few and far between. Some of you are lucky and have those. But you don't have any of that structure as an entrepreneur. So you've got to create it. So this is how we can break through and really get that freedom in both arenas that we want both around our time and around our money. So, simplicity, systems, strategy. Those three things have been my, you know, motto for a lot of years. And let's take them one at a time. Let's talk about simplicity. Let's talk about knowing, like, where you are right now, it's important to track. Please use a calendar. <laughs> I know that seems really simplistic. But I was coaching, business coaching, um, an entrepreneur at one point, And she told me she wanted to have like a million dollar business. And I said, well, you know, what kind of calendar do you use? Because she wanted help with time management and some other aspects of her business. She's like, well, <laughs> I sometimes look at the calendar on my refrigerator. I'm thinking inside my head. I wasn't as emphatic with her, but I did get my point across like, OMG, oh my gosh, you only have a calendar you sometimes look at on your refrigerator? Like, we've got to get that squared away, like, immediately. So whether it's a paper calendar, whether it's a digital calendar, I actually prefer digital. Um, I carried around a Franklin Covey for decades and decades. My daughter told me later she always knew what I was up to because all she had to look at was my planner. But these days I really love digital because I can have the calendar on my laptop. I can have the calendar on my phone. I have Evernote on my laptop, I have Evernote on my phone, you get the idea, right? So whatever systems I have in place, I try and keep it really simple. So it's the same ones that are on all my devices. So wherever I am, somebody wants to make an appointment with me, it's super simple. All I have to do is pull out my phone, which I have with me, look at the calendar, bingo, we've got our appointment. Or look at Evernote, shoot them a link to my schedule, bingo, we've got it done. You see, if you keep things really simple, it does free up a lot of your time. 
Okay, how else can we get simplicity into our lives? We can do it by delegating. We've talked about that before. Figure out what you love to do the most in your business, your zone of genius, and then really hone in on that, right? Now, when you're beginning as an entrepreneur, it's hard to bring on a team. I'm super grateful for my team. And it's tough. And there's still things that I could probably delegate out. But I'm not at that stage of my business yet. Honestly, I'm not. So I want to preserve the finance. And I end up doing a lot of things that may not be exactly my zone of genius. Fine. I know exactly what those areas are. And when I have the resources, I've already started to set up some systems to bring in even extra team and have them help me with that. Because at one point, I'll be able to just do my free financial consultations again and again and again and help people. Whatever hours I choose, whatever days of the week I choose. No, I used to do it on the weekends. I no longer do it on the weekends because my sweet husband looked at me one time. He sees me working hard all the time. He's like, what are you doing? I said, I'm working. And he's like, mm, well, I can tell you're not paying attention to me. Oh my gosh, my family's so important to me. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to change that. That night, I changed my calendar. I'm like, no, no more. When he's home on the weekends, that's precious time. I know that from being alive this many years, those moments with our loved ones are precious. So better pay attention and keep going on that. So another way to keep simplicity going in your business, in your life, is to let go of unimportant things. <sighs> you know, telling on myself again, like, <clears throat> and I choose to get other kinds of help, like VAs in my business, instead of hiring someone to help me clean the house. So is my house always clean? Are the dishes always done? No, but you know what? They don't really talk back. <laughs> and, and they get done, and the house gets cleaned. But you have to figure out, like, and maybe, maybe having an uber clean house is, like, one of your top priorities. If that's the case, go for it. And find something else that's not as important to you to let go a little bit, to be able to create that spaciousness. You know, to be able to have that freedom, like, now. Now, while we're building <coughs> our business. Systems. So simplicity, systems, strategy. Those are the three top keys for me. So systems. We started talking about the calendar system. We started talking about having Evernote files. Evernote's been great for me. It's like, I don't know. I love a lot of things. I love a lot of people. I love a lot of things. It's just kind of the way I live. So when I see this random... I don't know, gluten-free brownie recipe or something that I think I want to have. The reality is I'll probably never bake it because I'm busy, but I want it. <laughs> I want to give myself that luxury of maybe someday, you know, I'll be baking in the kitchen again. I put it on my Evernote and then I can forget about it. There's even a little elephant on Evernote that you can click that and you can like, you know, copy a selection or something or valuable finance information, or valuable finance YouTube that I saw that I think has a great concept that I can share with all of you. I can clip those. I can put those in my Evernote. Um, for my clients, I can set up a notebook and put my client's name on there and have all their information easy, easy, easy peasy in one place. You know, I can have a notebook that I communicate with my VAs all in one place. Our social media posts. You know that as an entrepreneur. We recycle stuff, right? Because not everybody's going to see everything that we do. So why not? If you start recycling things every six months, keep it simple. Yes, it might be more work if you're just starting your business. But once you have your business going and you have these systems going, 
and you have all those posts that are in place, reuse them. Reuse them. Keep things simple. How about money? How do I keep that simple? Well, I have automatic payments that go straight to my credit card and then my credit card I can pay off, right? can do that. Another way I can do it is I can have an automatic savings plan. The money's out of sight, out of mind, straight into savings. Or I have big goals, like one of my huge goals right now is to pay off my private student loans because I went back to school, got two master's degrees, went to College of Financial Planning when I was 50. So, yes, I've got a lot of loans. So I am like diligently, you know, determined, get rid of those suckers, right? And if you need help on that, make sure you PM me, let me know, because I do have um, a really great student loan company. I mean, I didn't start out thinking about an affiliate. I started out thinking about me. How am I going to make my student loans less? I was able to go from a variable rate to a fixed rate, which is huge because interest rates are going up right now guys you can see that I was also able to reduce my student loan by like three percentage points that makes a huge difference I was able to cut the terms from 14 years to seven years and now my goal is um, to get rid of them in at least two maybe faster so how do I do that? Like, how can you do that? You can put things on automatic. You can say, okay, this is my family budget, but remember the YNAB I talk about over and over again. You need a budget. You need to track. You need to track your time. You need to track your money. You need to know where things are going. Does this feel like a hassle sometimes? Yes, but you know what? It creates so much freedom. And you can do it in 15-minute chunks. So, yes, I admit it's boring categorizing things. But you know what? The computer catches up after a while. It knows, oh, this gas station is gasoline expense. And then it starts filling it in for you. There is the simplicity of having a system, right? Of having things on automate. Okay. Now, strategy. Having... That's going to be the last one for today. But knowing your end goals, like I'm so passionate about wanting to pay off my private student loans. So any extra money I get, I know I've already decided in my head, that's going towards that. Is it a big number? Yes. Do I wish it were smaller? Yes. But guess who's responsible? Me. That's the only way I'm going to get rid of it. Paying it off. And I'd rather make our finances a little bit tighter and know that that is going away, never, ever to come back. So you can do the same thing. You can set up limits for your savings. You can set up limits for your food budget. There's all kinds of things that you can do to save money. You can have a little side hustle, like I just came back from substitute teaching. Yes, I've had clients this week, and yes, I had that time in my schedule to go do that today, because guess where that money's going? That's going to go help pay off those student loans, too. So set things up for yourself. Keep the end strategy in mind. You know, your end goal in mind. Know what it is that you want. Know what it is that you want in terms of time. Know what it is that you want in terms of finance. Go after it. I'm sending you guys tons of light and love. Have a beautiful weekend. (laughs) I may not be in any more makeup for the entire weekend. (laughs) So, anyway, I will chat with you again next week. And have a glorious time. And know that it's in your power and your control. I'll see you then. Ciao for now.